What's up everyone? Thanks for coming to another river fishing adventure. Today we're going to be on my hometown river, the one near and dear to my heart, the lovely Red River. We're going to be going after some spring walleye today. I'm not much of a walleye fisherman to be honest, but I do really like to target them in the spring and the fall, get a chance to catch a big one if they're out and about. Lately I've been catching a lot of males, 15, 16 inches. Those are good eaters. Hopefully today we get a, a bigger one. But if not, at least it's a beautiful day on the river. No wind today, probably 50 some degrees. Feels awesome. Last few times I've been out, it's been super windy. We're gonna get after it, you guys, so stay tuned. So what we're gonna be fishing here, you guys, is the mouth of a tributary that runs into the Red River. So that's always a good spot to find spring walleyes, fall walleyes. Other good spots could be dams, clam beds, rock piles, gravel piles, wing dams. You can find them in a lot of spots this time of the year. I just kind of prefer not to fish the local dams just because you're going to be fishing shoulder to shoulder with people and getting tangled up and I don't know. Part of the reason why I go fishing I think is to get away from humanity a little bit. I kind of like getting lost out here but slip bobber and a floating jig tied on. That's what we were doing really well with out here last time. Slip bobbers are always a really good asset when walleye fishing. Made it to the spot. So where this tributary runs right into the main channel makes a big swirly circle thing. And uh, fish like to hang up inside that stuff. I just seen one surface right there. So we're gonna get the bobber in the water and hopefully catch us a nice one. But you guys, I just got a little blue crappie jig there. Slip bobber and then I don't know, I'm gonna set about three foot deep and float it out there. That's what was working for us last time. I also brought some frogs too that I might throw out on the floating jig. I'm just gonna see if I can get a bite here. Right off the bat, see if there's anything hanging out. Something's got it. Little gold eye. I'm sure we're gonna catch a bunch of those today. So I'm at the rod here, guys. I'm just gonna throw a leopard frog out on a floating jig on the bottom. Hopefully he'll swim around and get eight for us. Another gold eye. There's one of what we're after, guys. Not a big one. He'd be a good eater, but I kept enough last time I was out here, so we'll let him go back. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys, checking in here. That spot, uh didn't pan out as well as I thought it would. We were just there two days ago and slammed them, so maybe we fished it all out, I don't know. Probably not, maybe it's just the time of day. But uh, I'm gonna head towards Fargo here, stop at one more spot quick on my way home and then call her a day. 
made it to the next spot, guys. We just have a little diversion here that comes out and there's a wing dam at the end of it underneath the bridge. I've caught fish out here before. There was some guy just leaving out. I don't know if he was just checking out the spot or if he was fishing or not, but we'll see what happens. Can I get away from them, guys? Goldeye. Well, you guys, we didn't get what we came out here for, but used a full bucket of minnows catching gold eyes on slip bobbers, so that was fun, I guess. But I'm gonna head home, get some lunch. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Have a great work week, and I will see you at the next video.